Hello, this is Jim from Eves Automotive, and today, boys and girls, we have a 2004 Toyota Corolla with a little four-banger engine, okay? And it's got about 200,000 miles, and the customer just wants this car to be okay for his wife. Things do start wearing, breaking down, okay? So I told him I'd check the valves and see how tight or loose they are. And lo and behold, I checked them, and they're fine. See, these are little, what my finger's on right here, is that's a, a valve uh, bucket, if you will. And I thought for sure these things used pucks, but on this one, there's a little thing on the inside that wears instead of a puck at the top. My bad, I thought it was different. But me and the owner were debating and going back and forth about what the service interval of a timing chain is. Your timing belts uh, usually change at about anywhere from 60 to 105,000 miles. But a timing chain is usually not a serviceable item. But they do wear out and they do cause problems. So it's like, okay, well, it's not having any correlation codes and I don't really hear any noise. So let's just go ahead and flip this slide. However, when I did do the valve adjustments, I was able to see the timing chain. And lo and behold, this one has just a little bit of deflection. See that? Now you tend to think this thing would be tight if you have a good tensioner working on this thing. Now I don't know if that's good or bad. Looks a little loose to me. I gotta do some more research. Maybe ask my guru friends and see what they say about this. But to me, I think that's just a little bit too excessive, okay? Now what's bad about this is that it's not a simple timing belt, it's a timing chain. And when you replace the timing chain, which is this right here, given the miles and the wear, you should also change this gear right here, as well as this little thing, and this little thing is expensive, okay? Plus, you have a device where the timing chain glides upon, that wears that as well, as well as the gear at the bottom. Now, this in itself is expensive for the parts, but what makes it really bad is that you have to remove all the stuff in the front. Boom. Not, not all this, but the cover to get to it, the crankshaft, the serpentine belt, a couple odds and ends, just to do the service. And it takes time. You can't just whip this thing out. No, you have to take your time to do the job right. Okay, and it seems like nobody has time these days. So anyway, if you have a car that has a timing chain, understand that although it doesn't have a service interval, they do wear out. And the most critical thing that can keep your timing chain <laughs> to keep your timing chain wearing prematurely is to change that oil. Change it on a regular basis. Use a good quality oil. If you don't change the oil on a regular basis, it develops grit, if you will, almost like sandpaper. Very fine, and it's like you can't even tell with your finger, but dirty oil will wear out mechanical parts, okay? And mechanical parts just wear out anyway, but dirty oil will make them wear out much faster, like putting sand in there, if you will. Not as drastic, but I'm trying to use some kind of analogy. So there you go. If you have any questions or concerns, give us a call, and we'll set you straight, okay? Thank you.